everyone and welcome back to my channel coming at you this morning with waking up about 15 minutes ago and looking like this how i ever have the audacity to come on youtube like this i will never know but i wanted to start the vlog before i get ready or anything because today i'm filming a spend a cozy autumn day with me um i've looked outside today and the weather is literally perfect autumn weather um i've also got a few plans today so i thought i'd take you along with me but overall it's just gonna be a really cozy chilled day we've got a guest that wants to join the bed come on then yay sit down Oh my god, his claws are going straight into my leg. This is Albie. He wanted to come say hey. Um, Albie's actually coming on a sister date today. Um, yes. I'll tell you guys a bit more what we're doing later. Whoa. But, oh my god. He's literally balancing on my knees. It's really scary me right now. Please sit down. This boy's literally like a health and safety hazard, I'm not even joking. The amount of times he's just like jumping on stuff, flipping stuff over. Right, you're literally sitting on me right now. Okay, let's get into the vlog. I hope you guys enjoy. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos. And hope everyone's enjoying the autumn content so far. I've got so many more videos planned. But yes let's get into the video when this little devil decides to stop sitting on me so turn off the camera i have been obsessed with making my coffees in my velvetizer so i basically just heat up the milk and then pour it into the coffee as normal and then add hot water and my hazelnut syrup but oh i need to put the lid on properly it literally makes your coffees so nice and frothy. It literally tastes like they're from Starbucks. Look how frothy the milk goes. And obviously have to have it in my pumpkin mug from Home Bargains. Oh my God, ready for this. By the way, I have it really milky, so don't come for me. Uh, so I basically pour like that much in and then I'll pour the hot water in and then I'll pour the rest of this in. Seriously obsessed with this look how frothy that is wow i've just got out the shower and i'm gonna have a little self-care session um but i'm gonna light all my candles because i'm obsessed with all of them this one like crackles and my other one just smells so nice <laughs> bedroom it's all tidy and my candles are all lit perfect let me show you my autumn blanket i put it in my um last video of my autumn haul but i'm literally obsessed with my room at the minute it just looks so cute and cozy i'm gonna start by tinting my eyebrows because that just makes me feel 10 times more put together i think i need to get a new tint though because i've had this one for quite a while and it just doesn't seem to be like tint in my skin like as well as it used to they used to go so dark but maybe i'll just try leave it on for a bit longer the timer is done let's see i just feel like every time i take it off they're just not that dark maybe they are maybe i'm just being dramatic perfect they're literally the perfect level of darkness i wanted because it always fades within a few days anyway but now i'm going to do my skincare i don't know if anyone else's skin's been like this i don't know if it's because it's getting a bit colder but my skin has been so dry and spotty and like no matter what i use on it like nothing's helping but i think i definitely need to book in a facial soon so i'm going to use this vitamin e um moisturizer from super drug it's really really thick so 
who are like, it's good for this time, and it's got SPF in. This vitamin E range gives me such a throwback to school. Do you remember when Holly Boone, or was it Holly Boone? I don't know. Someone used to use that vitamin E spray for their makeup and like everyone went crazy for it. I also went crazy for it. I had like bottles of the spray. I also feel like I really want to change up my makeup routine. But like I've been doing the same for ages now and just want to switch up a bit. I really want to get some new lashes. Because the ones that I have, they're like night out eyelashes. They're like huge and they need some more like naturally ones. So if anyone's got any good recommendations, please let me know. And then using this um, Glow Reveal Moisturizer from Lumine. Um, it's not an eye cream, but I use it as an eye cream just because I've run out of mine and it's like brightening. It's like vitamin C. So surely it can't be that different. I need to go on a massive clothes and skincare shop. I'm going shopping with my friend in, I think about two weeks now, but I literally cannot wait to hit up Primark, to go to all like the beauty shops. Definitely need to go to Lush too because it's getting that time of year. My face goes so red when I do skincare. I don't know if anyone else does that. I'm then going to use my um, Hyaluronic Booster from Superdrug again. I absolutely love this stuff. I don't even know what it does to be honest, but it makes me feel like I'm a skincare pro. And it just feels so like cooling and soothing and moisturising. I then just go over with my Jade facial roller. I mean, I don't actually know what this does to be honest, but it feels nice, so I just do it anyway. I've literally lost my gua sha. I don't even know where it's gone. I always keep my skincare drawer and now it's not there, so I need to find that, but surely this is kind of similar. Sculpt in the face. I'm so ungentle on my skin when I do my skincare. I feel like you're meant to be really like gentle, but I'm absolutely not. If it's anyone else, I'd be so gentle, but because it's myself, I'm just like, meh, whatever. And then last but not least, my Elizabeth Arden eight hour lip mask. I feel like everyone knows about this by now. It's literally the best thing. That is the skincare done. I'm going to move on to my makeup now the bobby brown face face is literally my favorite primer it just makes your skin look so glowy because it's like so moisturizing and it also goes a bit like tacky at the same time all i've done so far is just use the got to be glued eyebrow gel on my eyebrows and actually quite like them i've not done them as like laminated vibes as i usually would obviously they're still massive because that is what my eyebrows are like. I'm going to try to make up a little bit different today and we'll see if we like it or I hate it. Also, I literally believe every girl has like an ugly headband that they do their makeup with. And no one can tell me otherwise. I also really need to fake tan. I just, CBA, like I really can't be bothered. But i think from like next week i'm probably gonna start getting back into a little fake tandem routine because it just makes me feel a million times better what i'm gonna do first of all is use my iconic london radiance booster and just pop a little bit of that on my face and then also in it i'm gonna mix some of my um nars tinted moisturizer in the shade alaska i've literally got barely anything left of this so when i next go shopping i need to get a new tinted moisturizer i kind of want to try something new so if anyone use has used any good ones that are better than nars please let a girl know i'm then just gonna blend that all in with my real techniques um beauty blender this is so soft it's like quite new so it literally feels like a dream on my skin. I still need to try the Coco Cosmetics 
um, sponge. I think that's what it's called. I'm not really sure. The one on TikTok, which everyone uses, and it's literally huge. I've really gone off using foundation. I feel like when I wear it, I just, I don't know. It just feels a bit much for me now. It's probably because I don't really wear makeup that often. And when I do, it's like not very full coverage. I just feel like when I do my base really full coverage, it it looks really good like on camera and in pictures. But in real life, it doesn't look as good. I'm then going to be taking the Fit Me Concealer underneath my eyes a little bit and on my nose and then i've got my laura mercier concealer which is a little bit darker which i'm just going to put on any of my spots because i feel like by the time i've like concealed um and used my tinted moisturizer it just feels full coverage anyway so i just feel like sometimes i don't really need it and i'm also so much less bothered about having spots being seen through my makeup and stuff now like I really could not care less I've just finished my base I'm just gonna add some of the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive to the tip of my nose but literally just the tiniest amount because this is so pigmented cute right let me just blend that out ways up I'm quite happy with the base to be fair I do like it now let's move on to the eyes i'm feeling like doing just like soft brown um eyes and a bit of my brown eyeliner and then maybe some corner lashes if i can find some i'm just going in with a brown literally just on the out corner and blending it in so it's like really subtle using my zoeva Lux Define crease brush and this is so good because it's so tiny it literally just goes right in your crease that's all the eyeshadow i'm gonna do because i just want it to be really like minimal and subtle and then i'm just going in with a brown oh it's not focusing a brown felt tip liner i'm gonna try to do them really small but they never work out I've done the wings, they're really not that even, but you're not going to be able to tell once I've got mascara and lashes on. Oh, before I do that, I'm just going to set my face because setting your face after you've done mascara just goes everywhere. I've got these lashes from Tatty Lashes. It says TL21, but these could just be in the box, but they look like really cute, like corner lashes. So, I just done them. I might cut them down a little bit just so they're like literally just on the corner i've finished my makeup and i'm literally obsessed with it the eyes are like are you gonna focus the eyes are like really i was about to say really subtle but they look huge when they're that up close <laughs> i've just done like the corner lash and oh my god i've just done a corner lash and just like a really subtle eye look and i'm obsessed i think this might be my new go-to makeup routine but let me sort out my hair and I'll be back. I'm ready now. I've just got a little gilet on from Misguided and then just got some seamless leggings from PLT and then this cropped black jumper from Zara. I was gonna wear a nice outfit but we're walking through somewhere and it's gonna be muddy I think. So I just thought it's not worth the risk wearing beige and then coming out with mud all over me. But um, I forgot to even say what I'm doing today. So me and my sister are taking Arby on a cute little walk and we're going for a pub lunch as well. Um, and then also tomorrow, me and my sister are hosting Sunday lunch for um, our family. So we're going to go um, and buy all the ingredients that we're going to need for tomorrow because it's Saturday today. Um, and we also need to figure out what we're going to make for a dessert. So it could be some baking tonight or tomorrow. If not, I'm going to vlog tomorrow too. Um, but yeah, that is the plans for now. I'm actually so happy with how my makeup turned out. I feel like for ages I've just been hating how I've been doing my makeup. But I like it today, so it's good. We're just getting ready to go Sit. for lunch and a walk Sit. for Albie. is not letting us put his lead on. Sit. Wait. Oh my god, he's got it. He just put it in his mouth. He loves to play every time he puts his harness on. Because he knows he gets a treat if we need to put it on. 
Oh yeah. Oh my that god, he's going crazy. He's literally got every single one of his toys out. We are back from our lunch and our walk and we're gonna go, oh my god, why is this not focusing on my face? We're gonna go to the supermarché and we're gonna make brownies for dessert tomorrow. So stay tuned for the Sunday roast queens, but that's what we're up to at the moment. It's a few hours later now, but we came back from shopping. We decided we we're gonna make brown and custard for dessert tomorrow. Um, I've just packed away the shopping, cleaned the house, and nothing exciting, so I've not been vlogging. Um, but I don't really have much more, much more. I don't really have many more plans for today. I think I'm just gonna have a chilled evening um make some dinner well i've got some lasagna from yesterday so i might eat that um and yeah that is pretty much it i might vlog a bit more tonight if not i'll speak to you guys tomorrow when i make my roast dinner i'm so excited for like a cozy sunday with my family i think we are so cute but signing off for now i also me and my sister have just planned to go watch the new Harry Styles film next week and I'm so excited to watch it. It literally looks crazy but it's got Harry Styles in so obviously have to be watching that and I've literally just been listening to him on Amazon too but Albie you coming in? Mm. He's contemplating coming in or staying outside but you coming in Alb? The night has taken a unexpected turn because Liam's not going out now, so we stayed in and ordered a Chinese. And we're going to watch Sins of Her Mother. He's waiting patiently for the, ch the Chinese. Just eat it! Um, I think my Chinese looks 10 out of 10. I know I'm biased, but stunning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Today, I'm having all my family around and I'm making a roast dinner with the help of my sister because I cannot do this alone i'm a bit scared but we'll see how it goes i've not really been doing much this morning we've just walked out and just cleaned the house we've gotten ready and now my sister's coming around and we're gonna start the cooking but i let you know how we get on with that i've got the brownie mix in i'm just about to mix it but i've been following a bbc good food recipe and hands here helping with the cooking um, I've made humongous stuffing balls. Hans taking piss out of me because I made them massive. But who doesn't love stuffing? So, and then it's Hannah's broccoli cheese. I mean, can we just appreciate all of the mess around? <laughs> Literally everything. Just making tea. I feel like if you can make a roast dinner with no mess, then it's not a good roast dinner. Yeah, I know. There's been no whisking, there's been no seasoning. That's no. so true. Well, we'll clear up after just listen to some Harry Styles while we make it. has just left now but if we do say so ourselves the roast dinner was really nice what do you rate it out of a 10 eight and a half yeah i give us an eight and a half for our first roast dinner i think that's pretty good i've like, made a roast before well you've made a roast before i have not made a roast before for our first roast. roast yeah and we we made it for a lot of people like yeah. six of us it's not just like a two person roast do you know what i mean and i also made the pudding and it was really nice even though it was basically meant to be brownies but it was more like <laughs> it a was good. it was more like a gooey brownie cake than a brownie but that's because i was impatient and i just wanted to eat it i don't want to wait for it to cool down but that is us for the evening now we're just chilling catching up on strictly come dancing which i'm so excited for and then i've also got bake off which i want to watch and i may watch the new movie with what's the girl called in it from riverdale i've not watched riverdale but the one i told you that do revenge yeah do revenge do revenge la revenge something like that so i might watch that on netflix tonight because Liam's got to work.
got my hair in the claw clip, I've got my fake tan on, just tinted my eyebrows and this is just what Friday nights are like. But this weekend I'm filming a spend the weekend with me. So I've got quite a few fun things planned this weekend. So I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. My friend is coming around tonight and we're just going to have a girls night in. We're going to order some takeaway. We're going to watch a new film which we've really been wanting to watch. It's on Netflix called la revenge i think I've just put the fire on i've got the candles on and yeah we're just having a really chilled night in oh my god i'm thinking these chunky boots from boohoo um just some ribbed leggings from plt and this ribbed black top right. from zara um and then I've got this nude zip up hoodie from H&M and my misguided Julie. I really need to get some different Julies because I wear them so much around like autumn, winter time. So I'm going to try this on and see what I'm feeling and maybe a hat if it suits. I think this is what I'm going to wear. Um, I don't know how hot it is outside because it's been really cold but it looks really sunny now. So hopefully this vibe is okay. They've got like a little um, hot chocolate stand and like a place where you can get drinks and stuff there too. So I'm so excited. So Alvin is pumpkin costume ready for the pumpkin patch. So cute. He's actually been really good in it and not really minded wearing it to be honest. We've just got this big one here and I've also found a really cute small white one. So I'm going to get that one and the white one too. Albie's absolutely loving it. These are the pumpkins that we got. Literally obsessed. Look how cute this one is. Oh my god. And um, for anyone wondering, we went to the pumpkin patch at Sanders Garden Centre. I think it's called like Somerset Pumpkin Patch maybe. But so cute and it wasn't even that expensive i think i paid nine pound for both of these which is quite good and they did like nice little hot chocolates there and albie absolutely loved it we went with my neighbor as well and her and her little boy loved it too so 10 out of 10 recommend we're um gonna go to watch a new harry styles film tonight it's called don't worry darling and i'm so excited i've wanted to watch it like as soon as i've seen the trailer for it and we're also gonna go for food we're debating whether to go to nando's or for some sushi and yeah we're not sure yet but we're having a very wholesome sister date sister sundays the best thank you very much thank you We've just come for a bad girl so for the cinema. It looks stunning. Yeah, Hank, I'm in the vlog. Cinema time! <laughs> <laughs> I'm back from the cinema now and that film was so good. I would literally recommend it to anyone. It is very confusing though. Like I was like, what the hell is happening? And it was a bit scary. It was it's not scary, but it's just like like oh my god, that kind of scary. Not as in like scary movie scary. Um, but definitely go give it a watch if you're thinking about it. I thought it was so good. I'm going to close this vlog off here, but I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. If you like these sort of weekend vlogs, let me know because I've got lots of plans coming up soon. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll speak to you guys in the next video.